When we started with the electric project, as a Lotus brand, we had to define at the beginning what the product profile will be. So coming from a sports car brand with a race heritage, with lightweight heritage, it was of course a very important step to first define what should a Lotus SUV stand for. So what should the Lotus SUV look like? What, what attributes should it focus on? And it was very clear that uh, with the Lotus brand, we would focus on performance and on sportiness. At the very beginning of the project, we defined very challenging targets for the Electro SUV to meet, for example, acceleration targets, handling and steering targets to be in a leading position. And in addition, the Electro is developed for global markets. So it's important that the Electro really satisfy the needs of the customers and set standards as a sporty SUV in global markets in Europe, in the UK, as well as in Asia, like China, or even in North America. The Lotus Electra needs to cover a very wide range of requirements. So as an electric SUV, we need to provide a very sporty performance, considering the attributes of handling and steering, and in addition, of course, deliver an acceptable level of comfort that this product can be used on a day-to-day -day usage. This brings very challenging requirements for the complete chassis systems and all its uh, individual components and systems. Like for example, the steering system, the suspension system, up to the tires, of course, as the tires are a vehicle component that must not be underestimated for its importance to deliver both the range from a sportiness to a comfort-oriented driving. Especially for battery electric vehicles, we need to consider a couple of specific requirements. On the one hand, the vehicles will be with the weight of the battery a little bit heavier than other vehicles with conventional drivetrains. Secondly, the level of performance of our Lotus Electra with its up to 900 horsepower is very high. So the requirements to the tires are really on the upper limit. So with this very extensive definition of the product profile, we defined a, a testing and development scheme that of course would consider the most challenging tracks and proving grounds of the globe. And one of the most challenging proving grounds is of course the Nürburgring. From the very beginning we did simulations of the vehicle, how it would perform on the Nürburgring and then in very early mule phases, so the very first prototype, we brought them to this very challenging track to do testing for performance, for durability and for drivability, so all dynamic attributes to test and develop its performance. The Nürburgring is indeed a very, very challenging track for the vehicle, but also for the, the drivers, as it's um, a track with very high speed and a track with lots of bends and curves, with a lot of vertical oscillations of, into the chassis systems, where of course the, the tire plays a very important role in. Testing on the Nürburgring, we needed to pursue major performance requirements. On the one hand, the vehicle needs to provide a very high level of grip so that we can achieve fast laps, we can achieve um, very safe uh, driving on very curvy conditions, but also the tire must be of course be durable and provide a good level of comfort and steering feel, which is one of the key attributes in our product DNA. So to meet all the requirements for our tires, we did a very close collaboration with the Pirelli team. The tire as one of the major systems that contribute to the handling and steering feel of the vehicle, as well as to the comfort feel, uh, were developed under the complete range of um, test conditions. We took the vehicle with the test engineers of Lotus and Pirelli to the public roads, where we tested under different roads in Europe and in China, up to extreme conditions like the winter testing in Northern Europe and Northern China, to the hot country and as well as to the hot country testing. We are at the Nürburgring, the world famous Nordschleife. 
the circuit where uh, all the car manufacturers are testing their vehicles, their high performance vehicles. And here we have uh, an outdoor testing facility, Pirelli outdoor testing facility, that we use to collaborate uh, with all the manufacturers and develop our product lines. In this case, uh, we have been developing uh, P0 and P0 Corsa for Lotus Elettre. We have developed the P0 products both on 22 and 23 inches with and without the so-called sealing side technology, which is featuring a special material in the thread that guarantees the sealing of the air in case of any puncture that you might find due to a nail on the road. We have also developed the Corsa product on a 22 inches fitment to guarantee even more sports behavior from the car. The requirement for this car is to match comfort, sport behavior and quietness since it is an electric vehicle. So that's why we developed perfect fit tires with the LTS marking and that's why we collaborate in close relationship with Lotus since the early beginning of the design phase of the car. In order to optimize all the performances, Pirelli must have a deep understanding of the vehicle system. So the development starts in the virtual world much ahead of the very first prototype. Our engineer starts exchanging information with the customer about the vehicle mass, the suspension kinematics, so they start the very early phases of the tire design. This is a typical technique that we have developed for motorsport, racing tires, and now we're applying also to road vehicles. Designing a tire means choosing geometries, structures, and materials. In this case, we chose a reinforced structure to optimize the tire footprint under any driving condition therefore achieving uh, the world-class dynamic performance that Lotus was asking for this vehicle. The materials, which is a specific compound to cope with the high instant torque that uh, an electric motor provides uh, under traction. And finally, the geometries. We optimized uh, the uh, thread pattern to reduce the noise and provide that quietness that is required by any driver of an electric vehicle. Uh, these are the features uh, that make a tire eligible of the elect marking that means specifically designed for electric vehicles. Following the first phase of development in the virtual world, uh, all the products uh, must be tested with the real car and the real tires. And we do this uh, in the most challenging circuits of the world, such as the Nürburgring, where we are now. Another important characteristic of the co-development with Lotus is that the information flow is bidirectional. Not only our engineers receive information about the car characteristics, but once we have designed our tire, we deliver to Lotus back the information of our tires so that all the subsystem of the car can be designed and optimized to maximize the performances. For example, steering feeling and all the strategy of the car such as ESP and traction control. Maybe.